training before the tick or technology. I get down, sweep, roll out. Fire department, anybody in here? Because 12% of all victims in the U.S. are found within two to three Next meters to of an entry yeah. point. Yeah. Remember, you're going towards the fire. They're running what? Outside. Yeah. Uh, uh. And if you also think about the entry point you're using, if that's the one they always use, at 3 in the morning, if your house catches on fire, you're not going to go to a door you don't normally use. You're going to run to the, you're going to probably try to go to your child's room, and you're going to run to the door we always use. So if that door is the one they always use, you have a strong likelihood of finding someone, right? We found numerous victims right on either side of the door because in their disoriented, hypoxic state, they ended up there. So don't forget to do that. Don't get focused just on this. Then pick this up. If conditions are up here, I can be right here and scan. If conditions are down here, like neutral plane and the nasty smoke, guess you what? Have to be... I have to be down here. Yeah. I don't see people doing that because if they're down here, they can actually see it. When they're sitting up like this and smoke's hitting them in the face, and I can't see anything on the tick. I wonder why. You know, so if I have good conditions, and this is usually your best scan, by the way, is right here at the door. You have to be in the doorway, and I start low, one from one wall to the other. I go across. If at any point my camera freezes, I stop. If I need to adjust, see more of the ceiling, I can twist it, the throttle up or down, so to speak. I come around, and then I come back over my head. Look at what I'm sitting. Am I sitting in an exhaust? And most likely, you are. It's just, is it a bi-directional flow, or is it a unidirectional? Yeah. Where firefighters die is unidirectional flow paths. Okay. And what they don't watch for is a bi-directional flow up here, I can manage that if that's a residential context. When it gets to about right here, what's going to happen in the next minute or so if I'm not controlling? So a descending neutral plane is bad, right? But a neutral plane is only visible with the eye at an opening. A thermal layer is visible on this. You learned yesterday thermal layers look different on different cameras, did they not? Because one of you asked the question about colorization. Because the manufacturer gets to tell you when the thermal layer shows up. So you've got to identify that. And then I have to communicate what I just did for, with him by simply saying, we have a fire at the end of the building. We have a fire at the end of the building. Looks like we're going to have to make some turns. We're going to move four meters, turn. We're going we're to flow down this hallway aggressively first, but I want you to know where we're going. So flow 20 seconds worth of water, and then we're going to see what happens with conditions. So this is, you've heard of so conditions. That's, that's, that's what she would say, basically. And I would say flow down this hallway for 20 seconds. The fire's down at the end of the hallway. Yeah. We're going to do a, we're going to do actually a conditions oh, yeah, check right. to see where the fire is. We're going to do a so, so go ahead. And whether we have a smoke blockade or not, if it comes back very fast, a very aggressive rebound, then I know he's going to have to flow a lot of water to that next point just so we can we can, we need to knock it back to make that push. So, so in this case, the fire doesn't come back very aggressively. It's it's very minute or slow. So I'm going to say we're going to move four meters and turn right. 